Today I'm going to share something really personal from my life. I recently decided to go caffeine free for an entire week. So the reason why I was starting this challenge was that I was consuming extreme amounts of caffeine daily. I was literally drinking between like 5 to 15 cans of energy drink per day. In addition, I would sometimes drink 5 to 10 cups of coffee and I would still be tired. The aha moment I had was when I was in the evening, like 10 at night, and I was drinking a can of energy drink and then 10 minutes later I fell asleep. And I realized like the caffeine is actually not working anymore. It's like I, I've probably taken it too much, too frequently, too often, so it has no effect anymore. And I thought about this, am I actually addicted to caffeine? I wanted to see if I can actually live without it. So my expectation was initially that I would wake up the next morning, I wouldn't get out of bed and I would be tired the entire day. And I realized this was actually not the case. I woke up just as normal as any morning and I was tired. But what I was doing is I had some advantage that actually helped me to soften the blow. But once I had a routine, I'm always waking up at the same time in the morning. So my body instinctively knows when to wake up. You know this kind of moment when you're waking up and like wondering like what's happening and you look at your watch and it's just like five minutes before your alarm. You actually have an internal clock and once you practice waking up at the same time every day, your internal clock will actually adjust and it will just make you wake at that specific time. You actually don't need the alarm clock anymore. It's just like to help you find the sweet spot for your internal clock so you can tune your body to this specific moment. The second thing I was doing every morning is I'm taking a cold shower. The cold shower in the morning is really helping you to get awake and alert by boosting your norepinephrine in your body, which is like triggering like a lot of wake up stimulus, what you need to become really alert in the morning. So the second thing I'm doing is I'm like taking some exercise in the morning every day. I'm not doing the gym or I'm not doing a morning run that's way too complicated and stressful in the morning. And I don't have time to take another shower after I come back and all sweaty and stuff. What I do instead, I'm taking a walk every morning, like 30 to 60 minutes walk towards work. If I have to change, if it's like sometimes like a business trip, I have to like take a longer route. I just take part of the route. I walk and then I take the rest with like the bus or the cab or the train or tube, whatever, where, what the circumstances are. So those are three routines to really pump you up. You have the routine, you're waking up in the morning at the same time, you're taking a cold shower to really trigger your wake up response and then you're walking which is really increasing your heart rate and your body's warming up and then you are like really in the state of getting things done. Now another thing I was really doing at work is drinking a lot of water and I realized this had a really big impact because oftentimes I feel I'm dehydrated so me drinking my energy drink sometimes maybe it's just me being dehydrated so by me actually drinking water consistently this really helps and it also helps to keep you alert like if you are dehydrated you probably know the symptoms you're feeling like lighthearted like headaches oftentimes you feel tired and really having a lot of water really helps to balance those out all of this still doesn't work there's one tip i can really recommend use a special lamp there are special lamps bright light therapy lights or there is a specific blue light frequency which you can get for travel which can really help you if you watch this like for half an hour in the morning there is a light response in your eyes which is helping your brain to um, adjust to the natural clock of the sunlight and by really triggering those light sensors you actually can force your brain into an wake state that's all what i can tell i've survived for like a week by now I'm still sometimes tired, but it's far less extreme than I thought. And I think I can actually keep this up and probably make this a permanent thing. Can you survive without your coffee or tea? Does it sound like a horror story to you to have no coffee in the morning or throughout the day? Do you have tried to be caffeine free yourself for a while? Let me know in the comments and make sure that you like and subscribe for more videos like this.